What's going on everybody? You are on the right channel. This is not JD's Reef with his Black Pearl. However, this is my uh, school's mascot from Park University. I have finally finished and completed a bachelor's degree. So with that, I figured it'd be a perfect addition to the 120 gallon reef tank and my separate 34 gallon Salona. So stick around guys. I have a lot of things to show you and uh, we'll get to it right now. One thing that just happened to me is I had a pretty big scare. Um, I had a, my 120 gallon and my 34 gallon leaking water. One thing that I did do right is I put my equipment off the ground. Uh, I have my ballast and I have all my cords up where they would have the least amount of chance of getting wet. And simple mistakes do happen in this hobby. And the simple thing that I did was be lazy. I didn't change out my filter sock for a good week and a half. And I just had spillover all over the place. So keep that in mind, guys. As far as the nano goes, I really haven't done anything. I haven't added any more fish. I also haven't had any more jumpers. I would like to add some more green chromis and some more Bangai cardinals. Uh, I was looking at my 120 gallon tank and I'm thinking about moving one of those anemones over because uh, this tank should be mature enough to be able to sustain it. Um, when you move over or add um, anemones, you don't want to put them in a tank less that is less than six months. So I'm well over the six months and uh, I'll probably try to do that later on in another video. As far as maintenance of this tank, all I have is my Remora skimmer. It does pretty good. It's you know powered by an MJ1200, and I also added uh, some macro algae, uh, which you saw in the tank. It's red, and then I put some uh, chato in the sump. So other than that, uh, nothing else to that's going on with that tank. Um, the 120, however, is doing pretty good. Um, I ended up scraping off a lot of coralline algae on the left side of the tank and on the right side. I still have some coralline on the uh, lower half of the tank, but I think it just makes for a lot cleaner view of the tank. One of the things I really like doing is watching my clowns just kick back into the enemy. Um, with that, I had recently lost my yellow tank. Um, I had lost my powder blue tank. I had lost a bunch of fish, and so. I decided I'm not going to add any more fish until I get a uh, quarantine tank because these these clowns are just pretty badass and I don't want to lose any more fish. One thing that I started to have is my acans. These are pretty cool. I got them from cherry corals, but they're open pretty wide. I guess they're hungry. I have been target feeding, but um, I guess I'll go ahead and target feed some more. Uh, one cool thing about these acans, though, however. They are starting to grow into the live rock, and I'll go ahead and uh, show you a different view of a different acan as well. Here's the other acan. It's starting to grow into the rock, as you can see. Um, it's kind of cool. The uh, leather coral that I have above it is also fragging itself. Um, it's really ugly when it frags itself, but as soon as everything calms down, it starts. It opens up right away. I did have some bleaching going on on my bird's nest. I don't know what the heck happened. I guess my alchemy had a huge swing. However, my uh, pink uh, bird's nest is doing well. Still pink and still growing out. Lots, lots of white tips on that. So really happy about that because that one is a little bit harder for me to get over here in El Paso. My uh, zoa garden is starting to grow out. Um, it's also starting to be overcome by the cloves. But the cloves and the zoas make a cool combination of colors. Um, I have a bunch of zoophrags on the floor on my sand bed. I need to go ahead and uh, kind of figure out a sweet spot for them and then put them in, putty them into the large uh, rock island that I have going on for them. One of the problems that I've been having is that my snails will come and tip over my frags. Um, and I, I try to catch that right away so that way you know my frags don't die and are face down in the sand for too long. But everything else has seemed to grow pretty good. I will be mounting it with some uh, putty or super glue. And uh, pretty soon this zoa garden will be nice and uh, jam packed. I have been dealing with Coral View. They uh, service Elos products. They're based out of Louisiana. And I was pretty excited when they sent me that new replacement Elos auto top off. But what ended up happening 
is they used some of the parts from my old auto top off and my old auto top off wasn't filling up just like you see right there in the picture on the controller it actually says a green light that says level but as you can see it's not uh, topping off so I'm gonna try to see if they can help me out or not um, I've asked updated my support ticket and they haven't written me back for you know a good while now so I may go ahead and get a Tunzi later on in the near future but anyways guys just want to say thank you guys thanks for watching I am watching your guys' videos and uh, thanks for subscribing hit that like and don't forget to subscribe and have a good one guys thanks